the transformation begin. Good morning friends and welcome back to another vlog. That was the first sentence I've said this morning. If you can't tell, I'm also trying to be quiet because it's like 5.30 a.m. I'm about to make some pre-workout. I'm going to mix these two Naked Harvest, the Juicy Grape and the Sweet Strawberry. I'm going to mix them together the first time, see if it tastes good. I'm going to sit down and do some computer work just quickly because I've gotten ready a bit early. And then at 6, I'm heading off to a PT session. Training upper body. I hate upper body. <laughs> That's my morning plans. This vlog is going to be a little bit of a daily vlog. I'm going to a wedding today. So I thought it would be really fun to bring you along and like get ready, choose my outfit and actually go to the wedding. I haven't been to a wedding in a while, so I'm really excited. Today, I'll let's choose a pre workout. worst mood and I have no idea why and also like no reason to be in a bad mood I just woke up this morning and I was like no today is not it but in saying that I have so much to do and I'm so grateful that I have so much to do I have a very very busy couple of days which is such a blessing because like there's so many people around the world who literally can't leave their house right now I feel awful for like feeling overwhelmed if that makes sense I woke up with a headache my PT session I literally just struggled through the whole thing and like not a good struggle like a bad struggle i honestly just think i haven't been sleeping enough if i'm honest because i've been doing everything else right i've been hitting my nutritional targets i've been training most days i don't feel like i'm overworking myself i think sometimes you just wake up in a bad mood and that's just the way it goes i'm gonna do everything i can to switch that around i am feeling better after working out but i just kind of wish that my workout was a little bit better i wish that i pushed harder but you win some you lose some i'm gonna sit down and i'm gonna enjoy my coffee and my breakfast i'm gonna just scroll on tiktok for a little bit because i love scrolling on tiktok and reply to some dms and then i need to shower and get ready which is what this whole video is about so i don't know why i'm ranting about my life right now i'm really contemplating scrubbing off this tan because it's quite old and then putting on like a one day tan thing but i'm scared that it's gonna rain at the wedding and i don't want to be literally dripping off my tan you know so we'll see anyway i'm gonna drink my coffee have breakfast and then this transformation will begin unfortunately it is time to get off the couch I've drunk my coffee. I have no excuses now. I have to get out of activewear, which is honestly the first upsetting thing. <laughs> Secondly, I need to decide whether to scrub my tan off or not. It's not looking very good at all. This is my tanning box. It literally is full of that tan. This is so old. Look how gross the bottle is. I'm going to use this Bondi Sand self tan razor. I'm going to coat my body in this. That's for at least five minutes. So I'll probably do like five to seven minutes. And then I'll hop in the shower, exfoliate, wash my hair, do hair mask. And then I'll choose my outfit. And then I'll put my tan on so I don't put tan all over my whole outfit. And then we'll get ready. Let the transformation begin. I did want to quickly thank Nasty Gal for working with me on today's video. All of the dresses that I'm about to try on are all from Nasty Gal and I'll have them all linked down below as well. You can use the code GeorgiaR55 for 55% off and I'll have all of my sizing and the Nasty Gal website all down below as well. So everything you need to know will be in the description box. Let's start with this one. This one's a short one and I feel like it's going to be cold today. So 
I really, really like this one. I think I could have sized down, like it is a little bit roomy. I'm trying to see how my belt is. Maybe I can like cinch it in around the waist. Oh, I don't know if that's good. <laughs> I don't think that's the move. I really, really like the length of this as well. Going to like a family wedding, so very good length. And it's got like a hem and it feels out at the bottom, which is my favorite. I'm also not the biggest purple fan, but I really, really like the purple floral on this. And I love how huge the sleeves are. Are you kidding me? I don't know if you can tell if it's big on me or not, but it is very comfy because literally nothing on this dress is sucking me in, which feels incredible. This is definitely a good option, but I have four more to try on, so we'll see. <laughs> this is the second option. I love the sleeves on this one. I'm a sucker for dresses with sleeves. Again, this one is a little big, but this has a tie and belt loop. I think this is definitely going to be very high on the list. It does have a split, which I think is very fun. It does like almost touch the floor, so I'll most likely have to wear heels with this, but I think I'm planning on doing that anyway. This is so, so cute. It does have the same neckline as the last one. Again, you can see my bra. I might wear an undershirt. I might just tape it down. I'm trying to imagine myself with the tan and like makeup in my hair actually does. Done. It's a little bit difficult, but this is definitely very high on the list. <laughs> this is the third option. This is exactly the same style as the last one. The material is a little bit different. It is so silky and soft, very comfortable, very flattering, very cute, very easy. I just don't know if I'm a purple gal. I don't know if I suit purple at all. Again, hard to tell without a tan on. <laughs> it is very cute though. Like white heels and a white bag with the white polka dots on this, I think could be very, very cute. Okay, this is the second last option. I really, really like how. How it fits. The other ones were very, very flowy, whereas this one fits me pretty comfortably around the top, and then it's just a bit flowy around the bottom. It's a wrap dress as well, so it cinches me in at the waist, which is really nice. It doesn't come down too low, which is really good as well. It does make me feel like a little bit of a mum, but I feel like that in a lot of clothes. <laughs> I feel like a grandma 99% of the time, so I don't know. But again, with the tan and my hair and makeup done and a pair of heels, would I not look like a mum? I don't know. That is really the question. But I really like how this fits. It's very comfortable. I think it's very flattering. Okay, one last dress to try. On. This is the final option. I think it's my least favorite just because of the way it fits my body. The waistband is really stretchy, which is very comfy, but the sleeves are very long, so I'd have to roll that up, and I don't know if that would look super good. The front comes down pretty low, which every single dress has done that, but I feel like I'd definitely have to like pin this down or something. And again, I just don't know if I'm a purple gal. I'm really trying hard to imagine myself actually looking presentable right now. I don't know. I really thought that I'd be able to pick one right now, but I genuinely don't know. But again, I'll have all of these dresses linked down below. It is is now 10 so I'm gonna put my pajamas back on I'm gonna tan do my makeup do my hair and then finally pick an outfit and then I'll show you my accessories and the full outcome the full transformation an absolute mess so we're gonna film in the office because this is the final look I have on this dress obviously from Nasty Gal not the dress I thought that I was gonna go with but I think this looks the most like wedding-y dress if that makes sense I have on these black heels they're also from Nasty Gal and these silver hoop earrings I feel like the silver goes with the blue very nicely earrings dress shoes all from Nasty Gal my hair has already like lost half of its curliness but I don't have time to recurl it because I'm gonna be late I love my hair catching on my helix all the time. My favorite. I'm gonna head out the door, go to my brother's house, and him and his girlfriend are gonna drive us up. Very excited. Very excited to sit in the car and do nothing for a little bit. Um, let's go celebrate love. <laughs>
currently vlogging on my phone because my camera died right before the little like send off for the bride and groom but it is almost 11 30 p.m i've just gotten home i am so so tired but i had so much fun celebrating my cousin and her new husband so so exciting so if erin and hamish are watching this i just want to say a huge congratulations thank you for letting me come and be part of your special day I had so much fun hanging out with my family and overall i just had a really really good day but i am exhausted so i'm going to take this makeup off do some skincare and go straight to bed and hopefully have a sleep in tomorrow <laughs> again a big thank you to nasty gal for sponsoring today's video if you enjoyed it don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i will catch you in my next video in the very near future bye